to Nelco's Distribution. We're at their headquarters here in beautiful Vancouver, BC. Just wanted to be outside here in the nice sunshine, pick some blackberries from the blackberry bushes here before we get started on another video that we've got in our series of educational training videos that we hope everybody finds really helpful. Come on in with me and we'll get to the set. Welcome everyone. So today I want to talk a little bit about the material that we use. And when it comes to vinyl, there's a whole slew of differences. There's lots of different types of vinyl and there's a lot of different features to them, but generally they're all fairly similar. So the vinyl that I'm going to talk to you today about has air release technology in it. It has stretching capabilities. We can really get it around corners. And one of the things that I always like to do, and I've said this in a previous video, is I always like to play around with the material. I like to test it. I like to test it on corners. I like to see how it stretches. I like to see how it adheres. How do the air bubbles actually come out in the different air channels? So today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the materials and just show you a couple little things that the materials are capable of doing. So one of the cool things that's come about in vinyl technology over the recent years is air egress technology. Basically what that means is that in the back of the vinyl, kind of built into the adhesion, and it's really hard to see on camera, but there's a small diamond pattern that basically has air channels that run throughout all of the material. And what this allows you to do is when you install material down and you've got an air bubble, it allows you to push the air out and it goes and spreads throughout the back of the vinyl in those air channel pockets. This helps tremendously when you've installed a large piece of material and you're going back over to see if you have any imperfections and you do find an air bubble. This will allow you to push that air bubble out and then get a nice, clean, smooth install. I'm gonna show you on this piece of vinyl, and right above my thumb here, there's an air bubble. And this, you can see as I push, I'm able to push that air out, and even on here as well. And that just all goes through these different channels, and it helps you to get that perfect install. And when you're selecting vinyl, Depending on the job that you're doing, you definitely always want to make sure that you do have that air egress release technology. Okay, the next thing I want to show everyone is the stretching capabilities of vinyl. You can stretch the material up to 100%. What'll happen though is you will start to lose some of the adhesive properties of the material. So anytime you're stretching material beyond 30%, you really want to have some sort of primer there to help hold the material in place. But I just want to show you a little bit of what the material's capabilities are. Here I've taken a piece of vinyl, I just drew some lines on it. Not really very artistic, but hey, it'll do the trick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this right down the center. I'm gonna install this first half just normally um, without stretching. So that you can see when I do heat this up and then I start to stretch this, you'll get a really good idea of what the material is capable of doing. So let's get this going a little faster here. And so as you heat the material, you'll feel that it becomes really loose and soft and that you can pull it, pull it, pull it, and it keeps on stretching. And you can just keep stretching different areas, and it'll keep on going. And you can see I'm basically at 100% stretch here. Now the only problem is, if you're installing this and it's been stretched that far, there's a real good chance that it is gonna fail because the adhesive properties are starting to be lost and it's spread over such a large area. But the cool thing is, we can now take this, heat the material back up, and you'll see it's slowly coming back to where it was, 
And you know, we can keep on working this and it's gonna go back to normal. So this is that memory that vinyl has. And so you may overstretch something and think that, hey, that's lost. But you don't always have to do that. All you gotta do is heat it back up, let it cool down, and you can see this. If I had kept working it for a little bit longer, I basically would have gotten it right back to the way it was versus it was stretched all the way out here. So this is something that's really cool and this will really allow you to work on this and be able to then get this material to stretch over those stubborn corners that you needed to stretch over and into those cracks that you needed to stretch into. But at the same time, you're able to bring it back and get it back to the way that it was just by reheating and letting it cool down. So some really, really cool technology with this material. I've got this material that I just put onto the corner of this table. I, I showed you guys this in a previous video, but you may have missed it. A um, Couple of things, you know, if you just take the material and you try and stretch it cold, you can get it sometimes to go, but you gotta use a lot of force to try and get it around a corner and it's really not gonna look all that great. So this is where we get the heat coming into play. And you know, we don't wanna heat it up and just reef it down. We want to slowly work it around the corner. And this is where we're gonna kind of massage the heat in. Now one thing is, is that if you've got a flat corner, you can easily just pull it and install without using heat when you're just going around a 90 degree corner, but it's a lot different when you're trying to stretch a rounded corner. So, I'm gonna give this a little bit of heat and I'll show you what I mean. So basically, we just wanna start by heating up the material all around the edge. One of the things, you know, we really wanna be cognizant of is that this material has a wood grain. If we pull too much, we stretch the wood grain, it looks a little weird. So again, one of the nice things with this material having a memory, we can play around on this corner a few times. So I've got this nicely pliable. What I'm gonna do, now that I've got it heated up, just really with a little bit of stretching. I don't wanna go too quick, I don't wanna to pull too hard. I don't wanna to push too much because otherwise we're gonna to start to get some wrinkles. And I like to pull everything in, just kind of hold it there for a second. Let the material cool down, stretch into place. So you can see I've got this material nicely in place. I do have a little wrinkle here. Again, a little kiss of heat. And we can get it around there. And then on these 90 degree outside corners, I always like to do these cold. So pull on them, and just with my thumb, get everything stretched into place. And then this way I don't need to worry about damaging the way that that material looks. If you do run into a mistake, get your heat gun, heat the material back out, pull it up a little bit, Pull it back down, stretch it into place, really just work it in. And you can work the material over and over. This is a thing that I love about being able to heat up vinyl. It has that memory. We can continue to work on it. And as you start to practice and work those corners, you'll learn different techniques and get a really nice perfect corner that you'll be able to come in, trim, and get looking really, really nice and clean. Hey, thank you for watching this video and checking us out. I hope that you were able to learn a few things about material, what its capabilities are, what you can do with it, and how it's going to help you on your jobs. Remember, always test the material. Try it out, play around with it, get some scrap pieces. Go and wrap you know, your laptop, your phone, whatever you want, just practice, play with it, screw up some vinyl, learn how to possibly fix your screw ups. And you know what, those little 
tips and tricks that you learn yourself at home can really save you at a job site. Especially when you've got a big piece of material that you're a little concerned about, but if you know you know how to fix something, then you don't get nervous, you're able to fix it, you don't waste the material. Anyways, I hope that you found this video helpful. Please like it, please leave comments, please ask questions. If there's anything that you want us to review in another video, please let us know. Or if there's a little tip or trick that you might have, please let me know if I've missed it. Because anything I can learn, I'm always appreciative of. So follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on YouTube, like the video, post some comments. We look forward to seeing you again.